Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 15 Masking Out Images. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm going to start a new FLA keeping the default settings make the stage about 50 percent label layer 1 picture P-I-C-T-U-R-E, that's the picture. And go to File, Import, Import to the Library. And I'm just going to pick up an image that can be s any image at all. It can be something you drew while you're in the Flash program. But I have a little picture here I'm going to bring in. And right here. That image now is in my library, right here. If you don't have your library here, click under Windows, under Library, and then you can dock it here. And there's that image I just imported. I'm putting it there. It's a little bigger than what I want, so my free transform tool. And holding the shift down, because it makes it change symmetrical. Get on a corner and then shrink it to size. That's, it'll serve a purpose. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. Call it mask. M-A-S-K. Just give it a name mask. And go on to the first frame of this mask layer. Pick up your rectangle tool. I don't want any stroke so up here where this red line through the white is click that and I'm going to use a red fill for my for my fill and I'm going to make a tiny rectangle here a little rectangle there it is just above the eye level going to go up to frame 40 on both of these layers and right click insert keyframes and that brings that image all the way up to there and it brings this little rectangle all the way up to here. Pick up my selection tool, click on this, drag it over here, pick up my free transform tool, holding the shift down, I want to give it a little bit of size, oops, and put it there. Anywhere in this top line of this mask layer, right click and make what's called a shape tween. There we got this tweeny. Double click on this mask layer to open it. Click mask, M-A-S-K, OK. Come up to the timeline, click on the pictures layer, hold your, your click left key down and drag it to the right. It'll indent and you will now have a mask. You see these two little symbols mean we have a mask and it's going to scan across like that. Let's just test this movie and you'll see what the mask is doing. Don't see anything except where the mask goes. Right? Let's continue. Go a little further and let's insert a blank keyframe here. Insert a blank keyframe at the end there. Click on this last keyframe of the picture label and move it around till you get that little fuzzy square and drag that up to about 75. Click on this new keyframe of the mask layer. This time with the oval tool selected, come over this side, make a circle. You can hold the shift down if you want to make it a perfect circle. Go up to this last frame here, right click, insert a keyframe with your selection tool drag it over here, free transform tool, make it all oh, rusty elongated like that. Click anywhere in here, right click, create a shape tween, and now we have that. So let's see what that looks like when it does that. There's the first mask, there's the second mask. You could, you could create like a little game on this. Give them so much time limit to try to guess and have a few guesses of who it might be. It could be a celebrity or a family member or something like that or anything. It could be a building. 
Let's do another one. After this last keyframe, insert a blank keyframe. Come back here, click on this one to get those fuzzy square, I call it. Drag that up to about 110. Now we're going to do something different here. Click here, and this time we're going to make a square. Pick up your rectangle tool. Pick up your rectangle tool. Make a square right here. Go up about five frames. Insert a keyframe. Now, go up one more frame. Insert a keyframe. This time, grab that little square. Take it off to the side so it's not part of your picture anymore. And go up about five frames. Insert a keyframe. So there's actually no mask going on here. Then click here again, insert. So now we have this action going. Where's a mask and no mask. Start right here at this second keyframe. Click, drag it all across. Copy that, right click, copy. Copy frames. Select right here, right click, paste frames. So now we just repeated those frames. There there's the frame where I have the block on his eye, then the frames where it's off the picture, back on his eye, off the picture. Let's go right here on this one. Drag the picture down here. You'll also have to go here and drag the picture roughly down here. And then there's none again. So click on this frame here. Paste frames. Move it over here for this one. Click here. Move it over here. And we'll just do one more of these. Click here. Right click. Paste frames. Now we don't see his face because we don't have enough frames here. So click on this to get that fuzzy. Bring that up. And right here. Drag it down here. As with this one. And you could just just with these ones it would just flash back and forth back and forth back and forth so now let's see what this looks like a few different masks there's the sweeping mask of the rectangle there's the oval and there's that last part let's do one last last one get go to the end insert a blank keyframe click on this frame here of this pictures layer and drag it up to about 160 Click on this blank keyframe of the mask layer, and we're just going to have a circle get bigger. So pick up your oval tool again, holding the shift down right on each nose, in my case. There's my circle. Go up to this last keyframe up here, insert a keyframe, and with your free transform tool, shift down, hold it up, and drag it in the middle. Make it a little bigger. And click anywhere in here with a shape tween. And we're going to expose the picture that way. There's the sweeping of the rectangle, the oval, the flashing, and there's the final one coming. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.